Welcome to chapter three, exercise one. This exercise, and actually all the exercises for this chapter, deal with linear weighted combinations of vectors. It's a basic concept. It's very easy to understand conceptually. Um, it's very easy to relate to uh, the algebra of linear algebra and also the geometry of linear algebra. But it's super important. Linear weighted combinations are basically the basis for everything from time series filtering to statistics to principal components analysis to deep learning, you name it. If there's linear algebra involved, there's going to be linear weighted combinations somewhere. All right. So exercise 3.1 is to rewrite the code for linear weighted combinations, but using scalars and uh, vectors as elements in a list. So this is basically just a different implementation of uh, another implementation that I illustrated earlier in this chapter. So here is the code for exercise one, but some of these variables are undefined. So we have L1, 2, and 3. These are for lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3. Uh, these are just some scalars. And then we have vectors. And you can see that I'm putting these objects into a list. One list for scalars, one list for vectors. Okay, so we need to scroll up a little bit to uh, this cell here where I defined these variables. And so the answer is minus 7, minus 4, minus 13. So here I just did this manually. I, I said L1 times V1 plus L2 times V2 and so on. So this method um, I, I like because it makes it very clear what's going on and what we're doing. But obviously, this is not very scalable. You don't want to have to do a, you know, 300 dimensional principal components analysis, writing out 300 uh, vector scalar multiplications like this. Okay, so um, actually, that said, this method is also not quite as um, scalable. It's a little bit more scalable than the previous method in the code cell I just showed. But uh, we are building up towards the, the real way in practice that um, linear weighted combinations is implemented, which is matrix vector multiplication. But we haven't gotten to that material yet in the book. So we are still exploring these different methods. Lin combo, the linear combination that I initialize as zeros, and then I'm using a for loop to zip these two lists, so scalars and vectors. And then I define linear combination to be itself plus s times v, which is each um, individual scalar element, each element in this list times its corresponding uh, vector. Okay, and then we run this and then confirm that we get same answer, minus 7, minus 4, minus 13. 